Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Um, I am going to be talking about, well, piggybacking on um, one of my previous videos talking about trauma. And so today I'm going to be talking about trauma healing. And I think that it is an important topic as with any of the topics that I've discussed, they're all important, girl. They're important. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Um, but first, before we get into the topic of this video, please look behind me for the sponsor of this video, which is my brand new book, The Hush Language Mental Health Journal, you edition. This baby right here. Check me out. Like I always say, please go over to my website. It'll be linked a lot down below in the description box go to my website check me out use code yay10 that's y-a-y-1-0 for 10 percent off of your purchase your support is greatly appreciated and if it's right in with the topic of this video trauma healing let's talk about it so we've talked about traumatic experiences previously and how um how they can be very difficult for an individual to go through and um given the circum um the certain um situations that our world has been in lately over the past we'll say year year and a half almost um a lot of people have experienced trauma like severe trauma death like people dying by the thousands and that's really difficult to digest. And if you are alive and well, like I am sitting here, um, we have a lot to be grateful for. You have a lot to be grateful for. I have a lot to be grateful for. But the type of trauma healing that I want to discuss is personal trauma, uh, um, childhood trauma, trauma from your upbringing. And if you know this, I'm going to be talking a lot about um, childhood situations, um, youth, um, upbringing, different circumstances that you've been through. I'm going to be talking um, a lot about that because I think that it is very important and sometimes we kind of sugarcoat what youth go through. We kind of sugarcoat um, what adults carried their whole lives and have experienced and sometimes people tell us to just get over it or... Um, you know, you're not that person anymore, and etc. And that is so true. Yes, we want to get over it. We want to live purposeful and successful lives. But it's not always the case. It is not always the case. Because when I say that um, it can be difficult to really get over your trauma, it, it's difficult. It's When I say it's difficult, it can be... Um, mentally challenging to say the least and so I just want to talk briefly about a few things that can benefit you that have been benefiting me when it comes to trauma healing trauma recovery recovering that um, person inside of you um, and just healing overall and here's my disclaimer and it will be down below in this video as well that I am not a therapist I'm not a psychiatrist whatsoever I'm not here to diagnose anyone I'm just here to give you my opinion and my thoughts on what I've gone through and what has helped me but if you need professional help if you need therapy please seek it it is okay to seek it seriously go get it go after it okay so but anyways a few things that I think that is is important when it comes to trauma healing is to, um, number one, seek therapy. It is okay to seek therapy, no matter what culture you are from. Um, I, I know that in my culture, in the black culture, sometimes it can be difficult for us to go to therapy. Uh, and we hear it a lot. We hear it a lot that, you know, my culture sweeps things under the rug. Uh, um, well, the older generation, you know, and don't really talk about things. And that could be a little bit difficult. And so, um, I, you know, I've noticed that in a lot of cultures, a lot of cultures don't really do therapy, don't really, uh, or probably can't afford it, or if they can't 
supported, they may be embarrassed or whatever the case may be. But I challenge you to go seek therapy. I think that it can be very um, helpful to your process. Now, don't get me wrong. I have had some therapists that weren't so great that we didn't mesh well. And I didn't understand that, hey, once you get therapists, you have to stick with that therapist. No, you do not. You can leave and you can find a new therapist until one stick with, sticks with you. And so the therapist that I'm currently seeing um, regarding certain situations in my life um, is uh, it, it's it's one of those situations where I, we're trying to mesh together. You get what I'm saying? But don't get me wrong. I've had some beautiful therapists in the past and I had some not so some not so great therapists in the past that really set me back mentally and it can be challenging. But therapy would be my number one piece of advice to you guys is to seek therapy. Number two, if you have an opportunity to sit down and just get one with yourself, take out a sheet of paper, a notebook, a journal, whatever it is, and begin to just write down all of those things that you are struggling with. Like, from the from the beginning to the end, go back to your earliest memory of um, where you felt that you've experienced trauma and begin to write it all down. And once you write it all down, begin to explore um, what it did to you, how it affected you, and where you are right now with it in your life. Um, because it may just be a memory that you're harboring onto and you know, you do just need to let it go. And it may be something more severe that has really traumatized you even in your adulthood to the point that nobody knows and you're good at covering it up, you know. And so take some time to write it down, begin to just write it down and really look at those things, look at those challenges, look at that trauma at face value and see what it is, you know, and how it has affected your life and is affecting your life today. Number three, tell a trusted friend. I had the opportunity of doing this last year with um, a few close, close people to me. And when I say that it was healing, it was really healing. Being able to share those memories with them, those trauma with them, and having their support and their, um, you know, prayers for me was really, really um, an awesome thing. And so I encourage you to do that, to find someone that you absolutely trust, that you know is not going to talk about you or share your personal journey with anyone, um, and that will pray for you and uplift you. Find someone that you can share that trauma with. Now, when sharing that trauma, you don't have to go into details because sometimes the details aren't as important, but just the bare surface of it if you feel safe enough to do that. Um, and, and also, everybody is not going to reject. I mean, sorry, everybody is not going to accept um, that. I had one particular person who um, didn't receive what I was sharing with them, and it hurt me to the core. It hurt me to the core. But just know that everybody is not going to accept it and open up the way that you need them to in your life, okay? And so um, telling a trusted friend, telling a trusted group of people um, could be really beneficial to you. Um, let's see, another thing that can really, really help you with trauma healing is to do things that you are passionate about or make time and space for those, for those things that bring you joy. So whether, it, whether it's um, the fact that you like taking walks or riding a bike or riding or going to the movies. And that's one thing that I used to do pre, um, you know, pre our current events of what's happening in our world right now in 2021. Okay. Um, but I would go to the movie theaters. I would go to the movie theaters either on a Saturday or a Sunday, at least once or twice a month, no matter what was planned, I would pick a movie. I would go. I would go early in the matinee where, you know, all the um, old folks come in, I would be sitting with them. I wouldn't go with anyone. I would go by myself and I would just relax and just watch the movie and just really explore um, my peace, you know, my serenity for a couple hours. 
and that really just balanced me out and chilled me out before the work week started. And so explore those things that you know you enjoy doing. Go go out to a, a new restaurant, try new food. Um, you know, explore different things, and I think it can be really beneficial and helpful um, to you on your journey, and which it has really been helpful to me on my journey. Um, you know, if you're at this place in your life, take some time to, I guess, I don't want to, and you have to excuse me on this, that I don't want to um, say these things um, in a way that you feel that you have to do it and it's the only way for trauma healing. But um, these are just suggestions and things that have really helped me. But if I saw a video on YouTube not too long ago of this gentleman going back to talk to his abuser and he called him on the phone and this was like 20 years later, right, after the abuse and he talked to him and he forgave him. And so forgiveness is a big thing. And the reason why I left forgiveness for the last one is because... Um, forgiveness is something that I still struggle with and something that I'm working through. And I can just be honest, as honest as possible, that I am on that journey to forgiveness. But it can be difficult, it can be challenging, and I don't want you to feel that just because you haven't 100% quite forgiven, uh, you know, your tra traumatic experiences, it doesn't mean that you aren't healing and that you aren't on your journey to forgiveness. Um, and so just be open-minded that... Um, it is okay to have not fully forgiven in the moment as long as you're working towards it because it can be um, challenging for a lot of us. Some things you forgive quicker than others and some things it just takes, you know, forever for you to really process it. And so that's all you're doing with trauma healing is you're basically processing your trauma. You're processing um where you are right now, your current state, your current well-being, you're processing the things that you went through, you're processing the people in your life, and you are working on releasing that and healing that from your life. And so those are the things that I would say is very beneficial and help, helpful to a person's journey when they've experienced traumatic events in their lives. It is not a 100% um, accurate list of all the things that you need to do. This is just the bare minimum that I find very helpful. Um, I'm pretty sure there are other things out there that are very, very helpful as well. But um, list down below what you're doing and what you have done to help you in your trauma. Um, but that'll be all for this video today. Thank you guys so much for joining me on these talks, on these chats on my channel. I really, really appreciate it and I really, really do enjoy it. I enjoy doing this content and I enjoy posting these videos and it helps me on my journey to healing and to recovery. And so thank you guys so much again for joining me on this journey. Again, check out my website for my books below. Um, the ones behind me and it'll be linked down below. Use code YAY10, that's GA10 for 10% off of your purchase. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.